we went to Cerdan to talk to John Averis about the Welsh Terrier. Thank you, John, for, for letting us come and meet you and you and some Welshies. But here at Saradon, Welshies are not the not the only thing boarding, are they? No, we uh, we we have five different breeds here, all out of the Terrier group. Uh, we're Terrier fanatics. On a Terrier day at any championship show, you can be seen with four breeds. Yeah, we've won four CCs, four best of breeds at one show. <laughs> that's a, that's a great day. I wasn't very popular. <laughs> The other thing coming here to Saradon is the heritage of the place. Success goes back generations, doesn't it? Yeah, my mum started the affix early in the 80s, Saradon. Uh, before that, uh, it was my grandfather, Les Atkinson. Uh, he was under the name of Belden. So third generation now, and hopefully my daughters are showing an interest, so Super. maybe even further. Fantastic. And something that we often see you with is uh, a dog that's bred overseas. You seem to work very closely with breeders, not just in the UK, but around the world. Yeah, I think it's a case of having to. Uh, like a lot of the uh, terrier breeds, they're quite thin on the ground. We don't have big numbers. So we try to encourage and bring in new blood whenever we can, or going back to old lines that have been out of the country for some time. And we are obviously here to talk about the Welsh Terrier. Um, so tell us a bit about the history. How did the, the breed develop? It is obviously a, a Welsh native breed. Yep. Early 1800s it right. was developed, and they say it goes back to the Black and Tan Terrier, wow. which is as early as the 13th century. Most terriers are strong-willed, hardy breeds, but tell us a bit more about the temperament of a, of a Welsh. A, a Welsh is very happy and carefree. Seldom you see a Welsh with his tail down. They're a very confident, strong breed, one of the strongest breeds I know. They love people, they love children, they love other dogs. And when I arrived this morning, they're, they're very happy to come and see people. They're not shy, are they? No, they're not a one person's dog. Uh, they're not the most loyal of dogs. <laughs> they will go with anyone with a treat or someone new, they will go to them. Being a friendly breed, you would assume they, they make super pets? Yeah, wonderful. Uh, I have two in my house uh, that uh, I love to death and that they make the ideal pet. They haven't got a bad bone in them. A lot of the terriers look quite similar. But yeah. takes across the appearance of a Welsh Terrier. It's a long-legged terrier, uh, shape-wise similar to a wire fox terrier. Mm -hmm. uh, you want a square dog, but a lot heavier set, a lot more rib, more bone. You're looking for a brick-shaped head, yeah. so you're looking for a strong rectangular-shaped head, plenty of power in the muzzle, and some length to them. You're looking for a keen expression. That's the most important thing with, uh, I think, every terrier. You want a keen expression. Um, what was it that they were bred to do in, in the first place? General vermin, foxes, badgers, uh, they've worked all sorts of quarry. And they're on the vulnerable list. Yeah. Are people working to, to increase numbers or are we working to, to keep that stable? We'd like to get them off the vulnerable list, obviously. Uh, we've got to stay above 300, I think it's for five years. Right. Uh, we're struggling to do that at the moment. You get a lot of people who've had Welsh before right. and they always have Welsh again. <laughs> Once you've had one, they are very addictive. <laughs> if anyone's buying a puppy, I always recommend they take it to the groom as, as early as possible. Yep. Uh, earlier they, one's having a good talk there. Earlier they get the relationship with their groomer, the better. Keep a Welsh tidy, four or five times a year grooming. On the flip side to that, they don't molt. What's their sort of requirement with regard to exercise? A, a Welsh will keep themselves occupied quite well in an enclosed garden. Mm -hmm. You do have to make sure you, you have no holes in your <laughs> fence because a Welsh will find it. Yeah. Uh, if you go out with them with, say, a ball or a raggy toy, they will play with you all day long. They absolutely love that. Uh, a regular walk twice, three times a day. But Welshies do love to sleep yeah. and they love to eat. They've got a real big appetite, so you do have to monitor the weight. Um, well, thank you very much for letting us drop in. Yeah, um, no problem. And meet you in the world. Thank you.